don't know what to do. I don't know what happens from here. We got an outstanding championship final heat. And that's 100 freestyle. Emily Watt from Georgia Surf Club. Calvin uh -huh. Justice. Okay, so this was a pretty busy week in Los Angeles, and this is how it started. I'm gonna make some breakfast, and it's gonna be my slowly becoming world famous acai bowl. Um, it's nice, it's healthy, it tastes good. Hemp hearts and pumpkin seed and flax. I think I'm gonna go with pumpkin seeds and flax as a base today for the granola. Here's the actual acai ingredient. I'm gonna go blueberries, coconut, <laughs> banana, that was fucking lame. Ooh, talk about this. This is kind of new. This isn't sponsored, but this brand is sick. I would love them to sponsor me one day. Four Sigmatic. It's got a superfood protein you're gonna throw in there. And it's also got a superfood serum. So these are the two products we're gonna include in that. And um, fun fact, this you can actually put on your face or eat it. So it doesn't taste good though. Like plain. It doesn't taste so good. 10 grams protein, almond, cashew, and that's going to be the milk. Dragon fruit for a little bit of extra sweetness, and chia seeds. We'll put a touch of moringa in there as well, just for yeah, some you can taste the moringa when it's in the Okay, so blended the powders, the acai, and the dragon fruit together. We've got a nice base. We've got some flax seeds and pumpkin seeds mixed into this granola. The banana. I'll get a little bit of presentation in it over here. Little it's serum. It's four, it's four squirts in it. Coconuts. A little pinch of chia seeds. Just a little, a little, uh, what would you even call this? A little sprinkle? Something. A little sprinkle of some chia seeds. You want to you get a nice little pattern yeah. going here. Where it's, it's really nice. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> We're two days out of competition. I'm going to get a massage now from my friend Michael, who is a Russian Olympic gymnastics masseuse. But when I say I'm going to get a massage, it is not like a spa massage. It's not pleasant in any way. It's very painful. When you're in super hard training, you kind of have to get your muscles rubbed out really hard to loosen it up and prevent injuries. And then I'm also racing in two days, so I need to get a massage to make sure everything's fine. I'm ready for the pain. I got invited to this premiere and there's a dress code that I don't really understand. So I'm gonna call my management now, ask them to try to explain it to me because I have a feeling that I don't own clothing that matches this dress code. What's up? How are you? Good, good. Can you just quickly explain to me what, uh, what was it, dress chic, casual chic? Yeah. Business so chic. What I wore to the office? Yeah, when you came to scale, like you wore like black skinny jeans or like, I think a jean jacket. She just means like elegant, so don't go in like a hoodie, you know? But it's not just, it's not like a 
I want to wear a hoodie. <laughs> Like, not too casual, but not suit. Not too casual, not suit. Um, and then there's a carpet, but I, I don't have to walk that right, or I do, or... Yeah, it's like, if you want to, you can. I got pictures taken. If you don't, you don't have to. Do you think I need to? I mean, like, it'll be fun. Okay. I would say, like, yeah. I just feel weird walking a carpet, and it's, like, not my movie. You know? Is that I not weird, like... or is that normal? Does it's everyone... normal. It's, it's, it's like very normal. Okay. You know, it's, think of it as like you're just walking down an alley and there's just a wall and people just take pictures. <laughs> like, it's kind of like that, yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Sweet cheers. I already forgot. She literally what. said what I said. Like, nice pants, but not a suit. Now, okay. What's nice pants, though? It's like ripped jeans, nice. Right? That's like okay, all I wear. I feel like maybe we need to go to the store and get like a piece because 90% of my wardrobe is casual I don't have much on the other side of the, that I'm spectrum down to I don't have shopping. much on that chic spectrum we are getting ready to head out to the premiere for the red carpet thing it's our first time for both of us walking the red carpet oh I'm not walking the red carpet I know this looks weird ah, no one no one even knows that I got my compression skins on underneath because knee holes of these jeans go in the perfect place. What? The reason I'm wearing the compression suit is because I'm racing in the morning. So I'm literally going to this premiere and then a competition tomorrow. With the black leather jacket, skinny jeans, and boots. I don't know. It's outside the comfort zone. Right? And I think wearing clothing and doing things outside your comfort zone is sick. I'm gonna switch over to the iPhone try to take some video. I don't think I can take that camera. Okay. We're in the Uber on the way to the event. And I'm just having a weird thought. The flash hits the shirt. I'm scared it goes completely see-through. Do you think that's going to happen? No. Why? It's just going to be my nipples. Yeah, but that's... Where's the red carpet? I don't know why I'm here or what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. Good morning. We have to wake up at 5 a.m. Fuck. There's competitions outside of LA. I don't know where it is, but it's kind of far. The point of this competition is to race as fatigued as possible. We're currently in a pretty tough training block, really hard training at the moment. So now the aim is to kind of continue racing while feeling tired from the training. So that when the bigger competitions come along, you're prepared for that pain and just know what to expect. It's raining. Yo, we got so lucky. And Emily is just stoked that it's raining. Rain? That's me over there getting ready to dive in for the prelims of the men's 100 meter freestyle. Considering the training and stuff. And that's me again. A couple hours later, getting ready to swim the finals of the 100 meter freestyle against some of the best Olympic swimmers in the world. Peter swimming. 